getting ready to build our refinance calculator, we're now going to see how to assign events to buttons. Jumping into Spider, I've started our application. I know we're gonna to have to import everything from Tkinter, and I know eventually I'm gonna to have to render it with this main loop. So we'll start a little differently than we did uh, in the previous section. We're gonna start by defining a couple of functions, and we'll just call one do okay. OK button clicked. And then I will make a second one. We'll call it do cancel. Right in here, we'll just again print cancel button clicked. OK, so now we will define our window. We'll make an object called a button OK. And we'll assign it to a tkinter button widget and we'll place it in the window. We'll give it some text. And we'll set a property, a foreground color here. We'll make it blue. And then I will assign a command. Okay, so when you call a function from inside the widget, you can leave off the parentheses. Okay, I'm gonna do about the same thing for the cancel button. Just make a couple of changes. So I'll copy and paste this code. I'll call this one cancel. Text will be cancel. And uh, we'll make the background blue in this one. Okay, instead of doing okay, we'll do cancel. Okay, so I'm just gonna put those two buttons in this window. And now it's time to place them. So it's gonna be button okay. And we'll see a different method of placing. I'm going to use dot grid, all right, instead of dot path. And with dot grid, we're gonna to have to give it a row value and a column value, okay? We will place the button cancel. And just keep in mind that uh, you can't mix pack and grid when you're making a tkinter window, but you can mix grid and place. All right, and so with place, I'm gonna give it an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. And the only reason I know this is because I've done it. So I, I know what the coordinates should be about where I want them to sit. Okay, with that done, we'll take a look at what this gives us. Okay, and there's our window. Okay, so you can see I'm able to resize it if I want. And you can also see that uh, by default, what it does is just give enough space for the widgets that we place in it. All right, and so, uh, when I tell it to grid row one and column one, it starts in the very upper left corner. Now we may not want it to look exactly like that. So uh, I'm gonna make a quick modification uh, so we can see how to move the widgets around if we need to. One of the ways we can move the widgets around. All right, so I'll close this window and then uh, come back inside and inside button okay I want to move it sort of down and to the right a little bit so I'm gonna put a comma and I'm gonna tell it to pad X and so when you pad X you can either just give it one value and the one value is gonna be from the the left all right so if I wanted to say come in two pixels uh, I would just give it a, a, a left value if I want to give it a left and a right I need to do that in a tuple so I'll tell it I want 10 on the right. All right, two on the left, 10 on the right. And then, uh, yeah, I want it to start a little bit lower. So it looks, uh, it sort of lines up with the button cancel, which I placed. All right, so if I placed it on Y5, I'm gonna pad Y5. Okay, so with that minor change, we'll run it again. There's our window. All right, we can see that, okay, it's no longer stuck right up in the, in the uh, upper left and it's pretty much lined up with uh, the other button. Uh, we can see what foreground does. It made the text blue, and background made the, uh, the button itself blue. All right, and then when I click OK, it tells me a little message over here in the shell window. All right, I've clicked each one of those buttons. Next up, we're gonna see how to set up our refinance app, and rather than having outputs display in the interactive shell, we're gonna actually make them eventually display in the tkinter uh, GUI window.